Hey, hey, Spring Lafay, Simply Tarot. Okay, this is going to be a pick a card or pick a deck. So basically, um, you know, this is for singles. So if you're single, um, you know, maybe you're talking to someone, maybe you're not, maybe you want to meet someone. Just look at these decks, and they all, three of them have rose quartz. All three of them have amethyst. I have my reasons for that, but just look at them and see which calls to you, which draws you. This will be one, two, and three. So look at them really good. And then, uh, you know, pick which one. We're going to start with number one. And then we have number two here, which I will put right there. And number three. So, let me bring this back out so we can see what we're doing. Okay. Is right there. Okay. For singles. For singles. What do they need to know? Spirit. What what does whomever chose deck one need to know? This is for singles. What is it that they need to know? Is someone coming to them? Are they going towards someone? Are they talking to someone that is going to go further? Or do they need to know something else? Spirit, can you please tell us for singles? May we know, Spirit, for singles. For the ones that chose this deck, for singles. Knight of Swords. Look at that. That's for movement. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. Someone's being guided towards someone. Okay, someone, um, someone's moving forward towards someone. Now, this could either be someone coming towards you or you're going towards someone quickly. I feel like it's someone that's coming towards you quickly. Quickly. You may be on their path and you meet and then they start just pursuing you. Um, I feel like that um, for one, this has got a feel. So we got the universe card. This has got a feel of um, divine, <laughs> the divine involved. Um, this right here, this person, it's like they've been they've been reaching for something higher. They've been reaching for that that um, relationship that's it's on that level. You know, this is. Oh my goodness. Excuse me. Um, this person, they want more. And it's like, this is about balancing. But this person, they want more. They want more in their life. They want the real deal. They won't, don't want to look through the light of the moon anymore. It's like this person is seeing very clearly now of what they want in their life. They're seeing through the light of the moon. They're seeing that path very clearly. See, the universe card changes ahead. You know, things ending, things beginning. Closing, closing chapters or cycles, journeys ending, new ones beginning. That's beautiful. That truly is. See, it. it's like whoever this person is that's coming towards you or going to be on your path, they know what they want. 
and they're moving quickly. They're not pondering around and waiting around to see, you know, anything. They're, they're moving quickly. Look on the bottom because they want a new beginning. Look. They want a new flipping beginning. That's what I get from that. the card. May I please have the card, Spirit? May I have the card? It's too many. Don't need that many. May I please have the card? One, two. One, two cards. Okay. There. Three. I take it. Okay. We got looky there. That's the Ace of Hearts. Mm-mm-mm. Somebody knows their value. They're valuable. They're valuable. And someone sees it. Someone's going to see your value. If you are that empress, if you are that, um, yeah, and I feel like you are if you chose this, you know your worth and your value. You're not just, yeah, you're not just... You're holding at, holding back. You're holding on to yourself because you know what you deserve and you know what you want. I want you to look. We got seven of diamonds, but you know sevens. I feel like reaching higher, and also the owls, intuition, wisdom, knowledge. Would you look at that moon up there. It's like people are. Um, they're getting wisdom now. Knowledge. Look. The moon phases. It's like whoever these people are, I feel like the moon is very important to them. And going forward with their life, that's what it feels like. I feel like that they um, possibly plant with the moon. They possibly do a lot with the moon. Um, it feels like somebody's manifesting. I feel like there's been releases that have went forward. You know, and it also feels like that um, this is really knowing what you want. There's two. Someone has healed with the moon. I'm drawn to the moons. And yawning. That tells me. I feel it. Someone has healed with the moon. I'll take the moon card. I just take cards I feel like for each reading. They won't be the same every time. Not for each one. A time to give rather than take. So, there's going to be something about it's time to give. So, you may have to give something and, you know, it's time for that. Don't think about it. Don't ponder on it. It's like you've got somebody coming on your path that is going to be, it feels like a good match for you. Um, possibly an air sign or a water sign. Co-create. Oof, I love it. Look. You see how we got the owls? This is wisdom. This is spiritual wisdom. This is a very special connection that takes me to that card right there. It's very special. Oh, this has got a beautiful feel to it. This is awesome. This feels like it, it you know, it's a very strong connection and it's like this person, they really know what they're looking for. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. You may already know this person. And they may just all of a sudden come in quickly. On the bottom, we got new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. This is beautiful. And it's just... 
it's really amazing. I mean, it's it's it feels like they know what they want. And this person, you know, you may, like I said, you may already be in contact with them. You may know them. And this may really, you know, like shock you. Eight of Feathers, Courage, Solutions. Eight of Shells, that's two baits. Three eights right here. Oof. Quiet, no, Quest and Renewal. Oh my goodness. It's like someone's really going to be getting the courage to go after what they want. There's going to be renewals. There's going to be very important. Um, it feels like important things take place. You know, that's what I'm feeling. Um, honestly. Let's see. I'm just curious about the eights. I'm so curious. So I'm going to look it up actually about the eights because it, it feels it feels like I'm supposed to. Let's see. Well, actually, the eights are a positive, like positive chain in change within um, twin flame relationships so this possibly could be that you're you're in a twin flame relationship huh okay let's see curiosity here just curious, you know. Um, that is really neat, though. Uh, this could be a twin flame relationship here, you know. I mean, we're wanting to know about love because this is, you know, a singles reading. Let's say, you know, it's time to think positive. It's, it's like there's something good waiting for someone. You know, waiting for this person. There's something good. So, it's time for you to think positive. Not be thinking, um, you know, negative at all. That's what I'm getting from that. Okay. Well, that is for deck one. So... I'm going to shut you off and we'll go to deck two. Okay, deck two. So if you chose deck two, right or wait, then let me move these. This is the reading for you. So we're just going to see. Get this. I've done shuffled some, so we will give it a few shuffles here. Then we're just going to get into it because this, you know, like I said, this is a singles reading. So, you know, what do you need to know? Is someone coming towards you? You know, are you dealing with someone? Ooh, is someone going to move towards you? Oh my goodness, that's what it looks like. We look like we've, we've got someone here that's picking up. It's like they're picking up something and they're coming towards you. This is someone that um, possibly owns their own business. This is someone that wants to give you their cup. They have some emotion for you. Look, they see your worth and your value with that nine of pentacles. And there has been changes. There's been endings. Something is changing. Something has ended. And, oh my goodness, look. This person wants a new beginning with you. But not just anyone. They want one that will grow. One that will test, you know, time. Something that's going to last forever. They want um, strength. 
They want someone that will give them, lend them strength as they lend strength. This is um, a forever type feel. This person sees that this could be a victory. But I am drawn to one more card. <laughs> they feel like they don't know whether you'll accept. So there's a, a sense of um, being afraid to offer that cup. Afraid that you will um, turn them away. That's what I'm getting with that. It's like they're afraid that you will turn them away. You know, it's almost like, will, the, will they see me? But will they? It's, it's like this person, they feel like you, you, you probably don't see them. They see you as this beautiful, peaceful being. But it's, it's like they feel like you won't see them or you don't see them. So this is someone that wants to come towards you. They have a fear that um, you won't accept their cup. That you don't see them. Thank you. New life. <laughs> this can be the new beginning you've been waiting for. If you've been waiting for a new beginning, this here could be it. This could be it. That's beautiful. Oh my goodness. That is absolutely gorgeous. But, we got pay attention to the red flags. Now this card's going to be here for a reason. Why is this card here? We need to ask that question. Why is pay there it went. Why is pay attention to the red flags here? Why spirit? Okay. I feel like it um you may have had a realm with this person and you may not trust, so you need to just pay attention. That's what I'm feeling. Soul connection. Strong connection. Chalices, Nine of Cups. It's a wish. You may have done had a round with some, this person. Not for all of you. That's for some of you. But you've had this ending and you really need to look at things because it feels like that you're not seeing something though. And now for some of you, it's like... There's a way of thinking that really needs to be looked at and it has to do with carrying carrying burdens, carrying carrying a load, carrying I feel like I'm supposed to take another. Okay, yes. May I have the other one? It's like there's another one goes with that. May I please have the other? There it is. Yes. Okay. This is about forgiving and learning you know forgiving and learning uh, as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments and you know it feels like learning how to see what you need to see you know learning how to know when you're being cautioned and i feel like someone may feel like they're being cautioned all the time and they may not be you know it's like they don't trust Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. I think I got that in deck one. I'm pretty sure you may want to go back and look at that one. You know, I said some of you may be dealing with a past life that's on the bottom, uh, which would be a soulmate. You have known each other before, and that would make sense with this pay attention to red flags because, yeah. You know, a lot of times you can go round and round. What is the bottom card on here? Aha, look. Round and round. With, the you know, fast life soulmates, you can go round and round with them. Over and over again. Oh my goodness, that's just neat how they did that. But that's what I have for 
Number two. Um, so what more? Get ready for number three. Hey, hey. Deck three. So, singles reading. Um, set these here. Okay. Give it a little, little bit of a shuffle. I've already shuffled, but, um, what, what does the people who chose deck three need to know? Is someone coming towards them? Is someone in their life that's going to be more? Um, how is their life, love life going to go? This is for a singles reading. So, Spirit, please tell us what we need to know for the people who chose this reading. This deck of cards. Singles. Ooh. Okay. Someone's watching. It didn't happen. You see. Ace of Cups reversed. Okay. Someone had a chance for this with someone. New beginning. This is someone from your past. Or either, uh, you, you know, you're the person. Whichever. You're going to have to put yourself where you belong because I'm not feeling this one. Um, it didn't go forward. Someone didn't go forward with this new beginning. Well, they're watching the person that they didn't go forward with. So someone's watching them. There was a lot of emotion here. Um, they're watching this person. Okay, I feel like we need another one. May we please have another card? May I please have the other card? I feel like there's another card. Do we have another? Thank you. Thank you. Let's see, we have Flipper. I don't know if we had two or one. I'm trying to check. Well, I think we have one. I think we have one flip plum over. These cards do out a lot. They'll flip, flip, flip. Okay, someone is really looking at things. They're looking at what was. They're looking at what they don't have. See that? There's a cup missing. So someone's dwelling on what they lost. Someone's dwelling on losing someone. Can you tell us more about this? This person is making a decision. They're trying to make a decision. They're at this like crossroads, wanting to make a decision. It feels like about going towards someone. What's the decision about? What's the decision about? Okay, the person. Okay. Here's the person. Taking on the King of Pentacles energy. Um, maybe, you know, it feels like... Um, Someone who really is thinks about money. I'm just be honest. That's what I'm getting. This is someone who really thinks about money, it feels like. And this person is really been, it's like they've been watching constantly. Look at that. There's two watching cards. You know, and they're watching this person who's doing things on their own because I'm drawn to her. How she is trying her hardest to get that up there. Without asking the other one for help. Just doing it on her own. Even though it looks like she's going to fall. Yeah. So, there's been some healing going on. There's been healing with the hermit. This person has done some healing. And they see this as being their wish. They see that this was everything they wanted. But, they didn't go forward with it. That's what I feel. So it's almost like now they're being guided. It's like they're following their intuition. Some of them may be even watching readers like me. Um, maybe talking to a psychic. But they're, they're being guided in some way. Whether it's you know their intuition. Higher power. Through readings. Or psychics. Something. Um, this has to do with the truth. Telling their truth. They they want to tell their truth. They want to tell what their truth is. So I feel like they're going towards somebody. They're going towards someone. And they want a new beginning. Look. we got movement cards here. Look at that. Yeah, this person. It's almost like they see what they want after it's gone. Yeah. That's what I've got there. I mean, it, it's really beautiful, but is this somebody that's been known before? 
Um, could be an ex. Could be somebody you just known that, you know, you could have had, um, like maybe you went out and you knew you could have had a, a beginning with them. And they just up and just disappeared or something. They could have ghosted you. You know, we got the mountains here. This ain't going to be easy. This is going to be, uh, oh my goodness. <sighs> Excuse me. This is going to be um, a climb. You know, somebody's going to have a time. And if you're the one that this person's coming towards, you know, you may be climbing a mountain just to try to figure out what's going on and if you can trust this or not. I'm just being honest. I have to be honest. That's what I'm getting. Oh, yes. You want me to take one of these? Three, number three. May I have the card? May I please have the card, Spirit? Thank you. Flexible. Uh, so this is going to call for you to be very flexible, it feels like. You're going to have to be flexible. There's something about mountains having to be climbed. It may be hard that this person, you know, and you being together, it may... Something about it may take, you know, you being very strong and very flexible so that this can work. Just to be honest, that's what I'm getting. That's too many. Too many. We got two too many. Let's start over. Let's start over. I'm going to actually give these a shuffle. I feel like I'm supposed to. So, let's do this. Let's do it. Let's give it a shuffle. I'm going to do three. Three. Okay. May I have the card for number three? For deck three. May I please have the card for deck three? Romance angels. May we have the card for deck three? Oh my goodness, look at that. Release your ex. The time has come for you to clear your energy. Time has come to clear your energy. So, release your ex. If you're holding on to your ex, because this situation involves marriage. So, you could be going to get asked to be married. Someone could be seriously going to ask you to marry them or um, you know this could involve releasing a marriage I just have to tell it like I get it because this is worth waiting for because divine timing is at work in your love life that's beautiful but on the bottom <laughs> we got this in I'm pretty sure it was um, deck two I'm pretty sure Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So, you're being cautioned about something. Is it about this person? Is it, um, you know, this could be past life. This may not be somebody that you've met in this lifetime. You know, I say past. That could be past life. You may not believe in that. Um, but this is what I have for you. Doesn't resonate. You know, you may want to look at one of the other decks. They may resonate more than this one. Um, yeah. If you haven't subscribed, please do and hit that little bell. It'll notify you every time I upload. Don't mind sharing these readings. Share my readings out. Um, we truly appreciate each and every one of you. And I do have a Patreon um, where I have extended readings on there. Um, if you want to check that out, the link will be in the description box. But have an awesome, awesome day. Bye.